Hi everyone! <laughs> Welcome to Wednesdays with Whitney. I'm Whitney and today my guest is the lovely Miss Courtney Conlon. Hi. She is a personal stylist and educator in the personal styling realm. So today we're gonna like dig in deep to all things personal style, which I love talking about because I love clothes. Yeah. But um, I think any personal stylist would tell you personal styling is way more than like clothing. Like that's that's the uh, final product, but that's not yes. the whole process. Yes. So awesome. Absolutely. So um, we usually start with how Courtney and I met, which was super fun because I saw her name pop up. She was one of the very first people to sign up for my very first Unapologetically Extra. Best thing I ever did, by the way. Ah, Best so, thing. <laughs> so, which I, and she's, you've probably seen her face because Courtney's been on quite a few of my unapologetically extras. And I love how you use them with and for your business. So can you talk a little bit about that? Because I know that you really plan out, like when you see the unapologetically extra location, you're already thinking about how you're going to use it. Can you tell me yes, a little bit about that? Definitely. I always say when you're styling yourself mm -hmm. or being styled, think first about the venue mm -hmm. or the location that you're going to be in. Yep. And from there, it's all about what are you going to feel most confident in that fits to that location yep. and the shoot overall. Yep. And so the vibe. The of, vibe. Of what it's going for. So our first one together was the gravel pit. Yes. Which was yeah. such a neutral kind of abstract yeah. thing. And what it I loved was. that Courtney did and how she showed up was, I mean, first of all, you were wearing that bright red jacket. Yes. I will forever <laughs> remember this bright red jacket. And then you really thought through bringing an accessor, like accessorizing. Yes. So you were like the queen of sunglasses and hats. So can you tell me like when yeah. you're picking out an outfit, like what are the components, especially for a shoot like that, that you would bring along? Always think, as she mentioned, about yeah. um, accessorizing it and yeah. options. It's all yeah. about options because mm -hmm. not only does that allow the person being shot, but it also allows like you, Whitney, yeah. the, the photographer, to yeah. say, okay, now let's shoot with this hat on. Yes. So we do without and with, if you come to a shoot with a hat, yeah. Don't come with it on. Yeah. Do the withouts first. Thank you. <laughs> so Thank your you hair's not that. all, you know, jacked yeah. up. Yeah. Um, and then throw the hat on or the sunglasses or yeah. do an earring change out. Uh, yes. It's it's all about accessorizing or having options, but doing it yeah. right. Yep. And, and maximizing that time. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people, even though when they think unapologetically extra, it's 15-minute sessions, right? Yes. Super quick. Yes. But for me, any any of you that have shot with me, 15 minutes is a long time as mm -hmm. far as like what we can get and accomplish. So what I love is Courtney, you come so prepared that, you know, with your personal styling blog and all of the advice you give, you can talk about a hat, you can talk about sunglasses, you can talk about a jacket, you can talk about shoes mm -hmm. and she, we do some with, some without. Yes. And I just love how you think through leveraging that yes. time and space. And I think that as we talk about, so your, your world is personal styling. My world is personal branding. And so, so much of personal branding is style, but like yes. that point of view. Yes. That thinking through it and Definitely. how, and I think we have just such a strong crossover and like, mm -hmm. I call it unapologetically extra, but I think that it's kind of like your closet realm too. It's like, let's get, yeah. let's get unapologetic about what's in there. Right. Yeah. yeah. Can you, I think. I think the idea of a personal stylist is kind of scary, personally. <laughs> so tell me, like, when somebody is seeking you out, what are some of their pain points? Like, what are some of the things that people are like, I am stressed? <laughs> and what, what are they saying yeah. to you? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It, it can be anything from weight loss, yeah. uh, seeing the clothing of, of, of years gone by and, yeah. and our past sitting in our closet. It can be divorce. Mm -hmm. It can be going into a new job. Um, opportunity, yeah. a new field. Not knowing exactly what to wear to oh, that scenario. Yes, yes. Interview yep. prepping, uh, loss in life. Uh, yeah. it, it's it's a vulnerable place, our closets, yeah. correct? Because they do hold a lot of past. <laughs> <laughs> we were just talking about that. <laughs> and I'm, I'm very good at, at, at teaching you how to, we, we can move on or kiss yeah. goodbye. Or, yeah. um, it, yeah. It's not a moment that we have to stick to. No, whether it's And no. I think um, Courtney and I have just done a ton of work together over the past three months as we've been getting to know each other. And something that I love that you said is um, sometimes our closets don't even feel like our own when we've right. gotten so far away. So say we've had right. a dramatic change in our body and mm -hmm. like, you look in your closet and you're like, I don't recognize myself in any of these because nothing right. feels good. Right. And I think right. that creates the epidemic of saying like, oh, I have nothing to wear. 
The truth is, that might actually be the truth. Do you find that? Yes. When people, okay, can you talk to me about the I have nothing to wear mental health? Like, what does that mean to people? Yeah. I think a lot of what that means is that either you have pieces in your in your closet still that either don't fit or Uh you or you don't feel good in. Yeah. So we always have to start with that. Do you feel good in it or not? If you don't, yeah, let it go. And it can easily be replaced. Mm -hmm. I'm all about doing it (laughs) conveniently and um, affordably um, because it can be done. But the shocker for some people Mm -hmm. is that a lot of times we have pieces that actually are in there that can be worked with. And so let's find a way to work with them. And if we need to pull in a few new pieces, we can do that to to create that versatile, convenient, non-overwhelming wardrobe. (laughs) Well, and I think something that is getting very popular and I think people are finally getting on board with is that less is more. Yes. Having less in your closet that you're committed to is more. Absolutely. And so I get that comment a lot of people are like, in my closet, they're like, you actually don't have a lot of clothing. And I'm like, yeah, you're right. <laughs> you um, should be proud of that. I, I'm really <laughs> proud of it, but I am a constant purger. Like I am a, okay. so um, I'm going to butcher her name, the art of tidying up the, Oh, I just watched her. Yeah. New show. I haven't watched it yet, but I'm glad like, you, I, I listen to her while I fall asleep at night because um, if you haven't listened to her audiobook, Marie Kondo, 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 Kondo. Kondo? Kondo? Okay. Yes. So I listen to her book as I, and if like, if it doesn't bring you joy in clothing, is one of those things where it either brings you immense joy. Yes. Like you put it on and you're like, yes. hi, that yeah. happened. Yeah. Or I'm like, I am a failure. Like, is that something that can happen to you? I mean, I cannot be oh, alone yeah. Yeah. in the sense that like sometimes I put on clothes and I'm like, wow, that went poorly. <laughs> um, yeah. I just had this experience. Nice I was, try self. Yeah. Like <laughs> try again in a few months when you've been going to cycle bar. Um, <laughs> But like, I, you don't want your closet to feel like a failure. You because don't. Because I think when you start your day, that's where we start our days. Absolutely. Yes. So yeah. when you go in and do a closet audit, what does that look like? Because I think that's a super vulnerable place for people. Like, mm-hmm. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Like, I do that for myself frequently, but I, it's hard for me to do it. So. Right. And it's a, yes. you're an outsider perspective. You have no emotional tie to the clothing. Right. Correct. Yeah. So yeah, I'm, I'm your, your neutral party, if you Mm -hmm. will. And, uh, it's like, it's kind of like working with a family member. Uh, so when I'm with you, I'm going to not only be honest, (laughs) but we're going to have, (laughs) hey, honestly, um, but it's going to be done. We're going to have fun with it because you're going to feel more comfortable. Um, whether it's weeding out the past, I mean, we were just talking about, uh, the, the closet, my ex built, I had a client recently where a lot of the pieces were, it made him think of his ex. And so that's not healthy at the end of the day because it wasn't, um, um, positive for him. It wasn't no. positive. And it doesn't race. even mean that the clothes are bad. It just meant that right. we have so much emotion tied to what we wear yeah. because of memory. Oh, definitely. Well, yeah. and I think about that with photos too. It's like, I may not feel good about that photo because I remember what happened before and after it, not even during. Right. 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 So it's yeah. the same that you just have these connections. Okay. So yeah. you've got to kind of jump that hurdle. Do people try, do you have people try on clothes? Or is yes, it, yeah, yes. so they're trying on in front of you. They, what, okay. yes, so we do. Or not, like, like a, but you know. Yeah, it, yeah, yeah, I mean. <laughs> you know, privacy, but I, like. I prefer there. you to go in the bathroom when you change. <laughs> Just to clarify how Just, that works. Yeah. Uh, you don't have to bear it all. You, yeah, not, not all. Um, but yeah, so do what we call a fit session, okay. um, which is a beautiful thing to have done because when I'm there, my assistant, Meredith, you might as well do that fifth session. So I have you kind of prep with pieces that are in question. Mm -hmm. And so if you can try that on while we're with you, Mm -hmm. all the better. And we're going to give you an honest yes or no. I think sometimes we we lose that uh, Mm -hmm. moment with stores. And it's no offense to stores. It's just that, you know. Their objective is different. Their objective is a little Mm -hmm. different. Yeah. So that's where my honesty comes in. And and then that's a great way to weed through pieces. Mm -hmm. And yeah. When I think... And I don't know, I know you have a lot of male clients, you also have female clients, but I love, as females, I feel like I've got a couple stores that I go to that I I know the, the store owner, we've been friends for a while, and um, like Amber, look at you, I know that she's going to be like, mm-mm, sorry. Like, mm-hmm. I know that about her, so I, I have that, that touch point connection, but a lot of times when you walk into stores, you can't trust their opinion it's not that their opinion is bad it just might not right. be exactly what you need to hear right so you're that outside opinion that's like i have no vested interest in 
where you buy your stuff or how much you buy of it, but I want it to look amazing on you. Yes. I want you to feel confident and mm -hmm. trust in me mm -hmm. and have that relationship enough with me to know that I'm, I'm think of it as I'm holding your hand through yeah. the process because I think that's huge. And I know you as a person mm -hmm. by then, you know, so that's yeah. a huge part of it too. Yeah. I want to know your core because that's the key to your personal style totally, and who you really are. And then that's going to shine in photos too. Yeah. That's, oh, totally. Oh my goodness. Well, and like so many people are like, what do I wear? That's the first question that people normally ask me. And I'm like, first of all, yeah. I don't always advocate going and buying anything new. Mm -hmm. So I, in fact, I very rarely advocate for that unless like, they're having some support in that because my thing is I don't want you to show up in something that doesn't resonate as you that you just bought for photos it should be you through and through I, I love that you're pointing that out yeah. because it's that it, that's the dangerous part mm -hmm. of um, getting dressed or, or getting ready for a photo shoot is yeah. you're running out sometimes last minute okay if you're me a yeah. lot of times last minute <laughs> example over here <laughs> um, but there's a danger to that because uh, I'm going to put at about 80% of the time if not higher that you're going to end up in a piece or pieces mm -hmm. that are not truly honoring who you are and your yeah. comfort level and yeah. then there goes the confidence yeah. and you need your confidence right because yeah. without that what are we well exactly we and if you're just like okay I bought this because this is all I could find like you already have that feeling like it's not good enough so actually a lot of people ask me like where do you get your clothes and I try never to shop for a shoot and I get photo like I'm photographed a lot mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. my own doing like I can't <laughs> I'm not complaining um, but most of that stuff I'm pulling from a wardrobe I already have I very rarely I mean I go shopping regularly <laughs> um, but I don't shop for a shoot like right. usually I again I didn't actually know that I was doing this but I think about the location and then I pull in my clothing so you just look at you, you put babe. a framework around that for me. <laughs> look at that. But we um, a lot of what Courtney and I cross over on is personal branding, personal style. So for me, I focus a lot on talking about core values and making sure that what you believe in is how you talk and how you act. Mm -hmm. But I also think something that the, I mean the other piece is how you present yourself. Yes. So presentation yes. is so much about what we're wearing, mm -hmm. what we do with our face. What we do with our hair. Sorry about this, guys. Um, but like, I have to like when I think about that, I'm like, this is totally part of a like an identity, a look. It's yeah. like it's how people might think of me. Yeah. Um. Mm -hmm. So when you're talking about personal style, mm -hmm. what does that look like for different people? Because your style is not necessarily their style. Exactly. So, and yeah. I think that that would be something I would be nervous about is, do I need to dress like my stylist in order to have personal style? Can you answer that question Ooh, for me? I can. Yay. And the answer is, hell no. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> because the core, again, is it's tapping into what motivates you, mm -hmm. what things you enjoy, yeah. what whether it's clothing, fashion, but just yeah. what are your hobbies in life? What's your lifestyle? Or what do you have to do in those clothes? What do you have to do in those clothes? So for me, I need to always be able to shoot in it and then go to yeah. dinner afterwards, like a nice dinner. Like I have to be able to do both those in the same outfit. So okay. that means that like my, the clothing that I choose is pretty specific. Right, yeah. And then how does it, because it's all about versatility, mm -hmm. by the way, is the name of the clothing game. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's how do we have this minimal wardrobe, yep. but with versatile pieces mm -hmm. that we can move, switch yep. out, and use for multiple events mm -hmm. or job moments, um, professional moments, and the list goes on. Yep. So yeah, that's that's a big... One, when, what I notice about how you dress is that you usually are wearing like jeans, black pants, a neutral top, and then there's some accent piece. Mm -hmm. So I would describe your style as like neutral with something, something that's just a little, pushes the boundaries just a little bit. That's yeah. just your statement piece. You always have on yeah. one statement piece, mm -hmm. but it's not, everything's not a statement. Yeah. Um, and Occasionally so, I might accidentally have yeah. too many a couple statements and then you're like well maybe I should have taken that off but yeah yeah, yeah. comes off in the car on the way to <laughs> that's your that's your unapologetically extra moment where I'm like a little yeah. too much jewelry I love that so when we're talking about um we talk we both talk a lot about vulnerability because when people show up in front of my camera they are scared mm -hmm. normally mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. and I think I understand that risk because yeah. 
the few times that I've shown up in front of other people's camera that aren't my assistant or, you know, that, I'm like, I am such a micromanager. Do you find that, that people are like, what's yeah. the general reaction when you're coming into their life? Mm -hmm. Especially coming into a closet mm -hmm. um, because, again, that I love the word vulner vulnerable or vulnerability. Yeah. There's a lot of that with, that lies within a closet yeah. in our lives in general. Mm -hmm. But there's also that beauty to cracking into our vulnerable side yeah. uh, and take it from someone who didn't get this until a few years ago. But it's, it, there, it's so important. And what can be what can be bred from that is it's amazing. So mm -hmm. whether it's pulling pieces that don't work or shouldn't be in your life anymore, yeah. Or how do we work with the ones you've got? Yeah. And but but op being able to open up, mm -hmm. especially if I'm with you in your closet or getting to know you. But yeah. it's okay to talk about or say, hey, that was a bad moment. So yeah. let's get rid of that. Let's cut it out. Bye. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think about that. I love, I love the idea of just getting everything out of your closet that doesn't work for you. If yes. it's not a hell yes, it's a hell no. Yeah. Like that's kind of how I just like developed my whole. Mm -hmm. I like and that. well, and when we go through photos together, so anytime you, I mean, you get to do this with me a lot. We, and I'm just like, first round is yes or no. Anytime we go through photos together, it's yes or no. And I'm really, I'm very stringent that we don't compare in the beginning. And I know everybody wants to do like, let's do, I want to see them all. Let's do a direct comparison and I'm like I really want you to judge each image as it is as one mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and like if it doesn't make you feel amazing then it shouldn't be in consideration right and so I think That's that that it's the same thing with the closet like yeah. if it's not amazing if it doesn't make you feel like you want to walk out the door that second mm -hmm. then it, it shouldn't be there right exactly mm -hmm. if it brings you no vibe or feeling of confidence yeah at all then mm -hmm. it should not be there yeah and remember there's so many amazing things we can do with clothing as far as donating to places you know yeah like, yeah great organizations and there could be great for someone else so exactly letting you, go of it you made a good decision for somebody else how about that yeah. <laughs> did your good deed for the, exactly. the, week or the month or there's whatever. so many and um, <laughs> i love that because like dress for success will take clothes like that that you maybe have emotionally outgrown but somebody else mm -hmm. needs to emotionally grow into them so mm -hmm. Yeah. I think that there's always good solutions to yes. we can let go of some of those things that you look the price tag still on and you're like, oh, I'm so aware of how much I just spent on that that I'm not wearing. Oh, before we before we okay. sign up for the day, I want to talk about your shopping strategy mm -hmm. and like, uh -huh. how do you know when you're shopping to say yes? Oh, okay. That's a good question, by the way. Thank you. <laughs> I'm going to start with if if you're doubting it at all. Leave it. Leave it. Don't even take it in the fitting room. But if you're in the fitting room with it and you have it on, you're doing that. Mm. If I just would do this to it, would it be good? Right. Just don't take it. Don't do it. Don't yeah. take it. Walk away. Yeah. <laughs> Walk away. That has that strategy has 100% changed my closet. So I simply refuse to take anything home that I wouldn't wear out of the store. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tailoring's the one thing that I give a little space to because you know the top's a different size than the bottom, so just occasionally you just yeah. gotta get it tailored. Yes. If yeah. I know that this piece is great quality and will fit perfectly once it's tailored, I'll still take it home. But that's yeah. the only accommodation I make. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. And I think that's a great point too. Tailoring. Mm -hmm. It's it's okay. We all have different. There's different body types. Every yes. one of us is different. Mm -hmm. And anymore, I think it's very common to have to have pieces tailored. Yes. Uh, but and to be okay with that. Mm -hmm. But by looking at that by how, what's the overall cost to this piece yeah. if I do take it home or if it's in my closet currently. Mm -hmm. But yes, walk away yeah. from anything you're doubting because it will it will end up with a tag on it, hanging yeah. in your closet, and it will be a little bit of a buyer's remorse mm -hmm. a feeling too. Um, that yeah. kind of, ugh. Well, and I think anything feeling. that you feel that with immediately, like, well, maybe this will work, you're never going to feel anything other than that. Mm -hmm. Like that'll be the feeling mm -hmm. that's carried with that piece. Yes. Yeah. If I walk out with something that I'm like, maybe someday I totally will fit into this. I don't even do that anymore. I will. I refuse to do that to myself. I'm going to buy this piece of clothing because in one month I'm going to fit into it. Well, like, oh my God, why set yourself up for failure? Like maybe right. you will, but then go buy new clothes yeah. um, when you do. And same goes for yeah. shooting in a piece. Yeah. If you're doubting that piece on yeah. the day of your shoot or a week before, it doesn't yeah. matter. Do not wear that piece because yeah. you want to be you want to be shining, radiating confidence in your yeah. photos, 
especially when they're they're developing their content, right? Yeah. Uh, or the pieces of pictures content. that yeah, yeah, that we can look at and utilize for mm -hmm. years to come. Mm -hmm. You want to be as confident as possible. Yeah. And that's why, like at the end of the day, when I'm shooting and like once it's all said and done, and you've said yes, I am like, I am such an advocate for the edit. And I think I'm I'm pretty rare in that sense of like <laughs> I as a photographer I'm not someone I'm just never going to be someone who sends you everything, and it's not it actually has more to do with the way I want you to feel about your photos afterwards than it does mm -hmm. with anything else because I want you and I think you've experienced this a ton is that at the end of the day every single image that you walk away with is one that you are like that is 100% the best photo I've ever seen of myself. And I yeah. can say that about each one. Yes. And you, I don't think you, you can, you, do you remember the photos that you like? No to. Yeah. Do they even register? Nope. See? <laughs> and I love nope. that. Because like, the, I'm sure there's yeah. photos, I mean, I'm not 100% all the time. I'm sure there's photos that you were like, what, just, like, you know, like, <laughs> I didn't need, you know, I don't need to know that. Um, but it's not ingrained. You don't always have to like click through the folder past those. Right. Yes. So which that. I so appreciate because yeah. It can just, already feel like, oh my gosh, overwhelming. Just just like, yeah, yeah a, a closet audit or personal shopping, but, yeah. but going through photos and editing yeah. or what on your end, yeah. what you're doing. But the way that you simplify it yeah. and the process of it, yeah. not only is it quick, but it is painless. Yeah. And all just all the more that I walk away with the utmost confidence. Yeah. And I'm, I'm self-assured, I'm, I'm self-assured in my my choice. final choice yeah. yeah and choices that i'm going it, it just oh my gosh See, it's so it's like, like they're speechless. basically they're basically the same thing is i think what we have come to realize is like your closet and your vinyl like you just simplify and say you want to yeah. say absolutely heck yes to whatever is in your life yeah maybe that's just it in general right in ge it's a general yes okay so general. we'll just blanket statement like mm-hmm mm -hmm. Yeah. Hell yes or hell no. Hell yes or hell no. I think it's our new so motto. That may be just like anytime Courtney and I show up, we'll just be like, so is this uh like there's we don't do this, it's this or this. Uh -huh. So awesome. All right, friends. Thank you so much yes, for joining me you. today. Yes, thank you and for oh me, absolutely. Girl. Oh my goodness. And I will be back next Wednesday. And keep following Courtney. I'm sure she's gonna continue to pop up in my world and I'll be <laughs> popping up in her world a little bit. And there's gonna Love be it. some fun collaborations coming on the scene. So. Excited. Awesome. Bye guys. Bye.